What's up everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to improve your tier 1 unit into tier 2 unit in Era of Conquest. Now, Era of Conquest, so far I've seen there's a lot of mechanism in here that allows greatly for free-to-play to medium spender. Of course, if you do spend, you will have an advantage as well. But the advantage of spending into this game is slightly giving advantage, not a huge advantage, basically. Um... It is my experience in many RTS games in the 4X, when you are improving your tier 1 to tier 2, you will need to spend a lot of time into the research, all right? Maybe not a whole lot, but, you know, from the beginning. But to reach, like, tier 5, you'll need a lot of research time. But for this game so far, what I've seen, there is no such thing as researching. There's no technology in here to improve your units of tier. But you basically, it's, it's a very different. There's technology, but it's not technology. Um, the building in here, you'll have to, to 13, and then I'm already at 14 right now. So once you reach 13, you'll be able to upgrade this military research institute to level. I, think, I forgot what level minimum is, maybe seven or eight, somewhere like that. But once you've reached that, um, you will then have the ability to um, unlock your tier two. Basically, every four hours or three hours and 50 minutes, I think um, you will get a material trial you will get a military trial and then you'll have to collect that military trial i'm gonna click this claimable boom there we go i pretty much have the last one in here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna access the trial in here you're gonna click access trial and what's gonna happen is that it's going to summon a instructor so this is going to summon the instructor we're gonna go to the challenge in here for me to unlock the tier two you'll have to defeat all the instructor 12 times for you know three and 40 45 minutes or uh three and uh 50 minutes i don't know i think it was right let's just say four hours let's go and kill this one in here we'll set up and what's cool about this game is that i can change whatever uh troop type i want i don't have to train each one com in comparison to other um you know in comparison to other games so there we go exterminate uh, basically, in this game, you'll have this, you know, army that is constantly being built and it's free to, you know, keep making it. You don't have to spend any resources. You don't have to spend any speed up in this game. So there we go. As we try to defeat that and look at this one, all right, Military Institute, right? So we're going to get T2 after we complete that. We're going to be submitting the, um, the, the stuff that we're going to be able to get from the defe defeating the uh, instructor in here. So once we defeat the instructor... Um, Initially, if you do not succeed on defeating the instructor, it will stay there and you can also, you know, come back and defeat it. So let's go claim and we got the challenge in here. We got the, you know, trial. We'll head into the military research institute. So basically we're submitting this um, as our research in here. So you can see that we're going to get some rewards from this one as well. As we submit, we're going to submit the trial. There we go. We gain some prosperity. All right, now activate T2 Soldier to greatly increase their, what is this, power. All right, never mind, power, yep, that's it. Uh, let's click go. All right, as we click go, we now officially have T2 Soldiers. Congratulations to the Lord for successfully challenging all T2 trials. That's it. Now I will choose my arms and I will then go here. And then now officially I have tier two units. There we go. Did there was there any big changes though? Yeah, huge changes of design. And there we go. See, as I click each tab in here, tier one tab, the bowman. Now I become a heavy bowman. My cavalry from my scout. All right, and then my squire as infantry, heavy bowman, and pikemen. So I'm gonna click here. There we go. I'm converting them. Uh, there we go. After conversion, five thousand three hundred forty-four. Boom. There we go. And. We're just going to assign all units in here. Wow, it depletes so much of my army. So right now, I got no army. You know, there's nothing in my conscription right now. It's depleted. What I can do is I can speed up in here, click this, and I can produce more army uh, every minute. So this game, uh, you can't really will things up in here. And the only way that you can go faster in here to getting tier 2 is to buy the daily um, the daily bundle, which I, there we go. This is the daily bundle. It's going to cost you about $6. Very expensive, right? I'm just kidding. No, it's very cheap. Um, then you're going to be able to get this war order, which is going to help you to attack resource points. And that's going to help you to progress within the game. And also some relic scroll, which is going to give you some coins whenever you defeat some relics. 
but that's the main part of relics for me um, is obtaining those coins and of course you're gonna get some artifacts within that as well but we'll talk about that in the next video about the artifacts now the game quite very good into the uh free to play medium spender um if you're like i said if you're a big whale not a whole huge advantage into this but this is pretty much how you will unlock the tier 2 unit you'll have to do it into your military institute let's claim the rewards in here boom there we go oh we got some reserves right away so um how much did we get all right so it's now full all right so you basically need to go and collect that and then i can now um switch up my units in here and i will change these into tier 2 as well my other units in here there we go confirm oh i'm gonna run out of troops again boom so um this one i can i'm gonna switch it as well in here to tier two i'll just pick what pick whatever you want there we go and i don't have anything in conscription right now so i'm just going to click this open i'm gonna let it produce so i can keep continuing to fight in here um the next one to get to t3 you will then need to reach level 18 i'm currently level 14 and then you'll need level 10 onto the military research this one is a civic center or which is a city hall so that's it it's pretty easy um i'll discuss more about how to break down every little things in this game just follow us subscribe turn your notification on so far i'm telling you the game has been really, really fun, and I'm very excited to showcase more. There's a lot of things in here. When you first came into the game, boom, there's so much to, to learn. But each day, we learn bit by bit, and I've been enjoying it. Me and my brother Solid Dust, we've been enjoying this um, this game so far, and, I, and we really love it. So um, tune in for more. Basically, if you're coming from other games and you're tired of like you know spending so much money into the other games, this game might be good for you because you're you'll be you know pretty much playing the same way and spending less basically spending less playing the same way you'll you'll be you know you're not going to be extremely weak in comparison to the big spenders in the game um i would say try to join into the newest server if you can one other cool feature that i find in this game is that when you're in the alliance you can go into a chat room and um you can i can do it on the mobile phone uh but you can go in the chat room and then you can actually just have everybody join there and then you can actually talk to them in the chat room itself i think that's pretty cool built-in chat room although the game doesn't have a picture sending function though for some reason i don't know why they don't have that um there's no albums yet uh you know in other games they have it i can change my picture in here so you know it's it's a relatively you know uh quite inexpensive game um even if you spend a lot you don't really get too well up so far i spent like 50 dollars mainly from the uh daily bundles in here and a few things i got leonidas as well uh, but not too crazy not too crazy in my opinion you know you can't do much you're limited with because of the um this one the war or and the relic scroll to progress and move fast and this thing resets every day and there's a cap a lot of things in here has a cap so even in your like alliance shop in here when we go into the shops in here let me see uh shop you see there's a cap on how much you can have and you can't just bankroll and stack up and just take advantage of it um so yeah this is definitely quite interesting on how the game is made and the developers in here they're not it seems like they're not um they're not greedy that's i guess i'll just put that in that perspective um so so far you know anything can change but so far what i see is that the game is quite decent and i think if you are coming from other games that you know you've spent tens and thousands of dollars uh to progress fast this is something that you may want to look into and you might find it very very interesting and you might really want to play it because it is not go it is going to give you a good brain stimulation and challenges in here because this game is really a real-time strategy and you can really change up the skills of your heroes as well in here and you can equip gear even the gear is not even like buyable like the gear like there, you can buy certain gears but like 20 bucks like you can get a, a legendary but they only give you like extra two three buffs but for the most part the gears in here you can just craft them and you get it for free so even the gears in here there's no like whaleability uh, again i explain a lot more things in the future just follow us subscribe turn your notification on and don't forget to hit thumbs up hopefully this video help you out from learning how to upgrade your tier of units within the game thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys again next time